This is our range of electric knife sharpeners. The beauty about electric knife sharpening is that it's mechanically perfect every time and they're quick. Uh, a knife that hasn't been put on an electric knife sharpener might take one minute, but once it's been used on that machine once, every time after that will be about 30 seconds. So we have the KE198. This is our recreational machine that's designed for home use. It has a two-stage process. It's got uh, stones in it, a 240 grit stone and an 800 grit stone. We move into the professional range, which is the belt finish machine designed for the single user. That's the chef, uh, the, the keen uh, enthusiast cook, uh, the hunter. We move into the commercial version, very similar to the KE3000. We move into the KE280, which is the commercial machine, which is basically just the V8 model of the, of the six cylinder. It's, this machine is uh, designed for continual commercial use with commercial bearings, uh, commercial engine, etc. And then we have the ultimate electric knife sharpener, the KE500, which is the bells and whistles. So let me show you the difference between the pressures. Blunt knife, up against the central guide, pressing, you can hear the motor working. And what I'm doing is I'm reprofiling this knife. left and right four or five times and then just to finish the knife if the knife has got an edge on it just to finish the knife I'm just holding just the weight of the heads of the knife through making sure that the edge of the knife is parallel with the bench. The belts are available in a fine medium and coarse and it's mentioned on the packet they're also color coded the fine is pink the medium is white and the course is blue. They're available in pairs as belts, or you can also get them belts on wheels in a fine, medium, and coarse. But you don't need to change the rubber wheel every time you change the belt, but probably after every 10 or 15 belt replacements, I'd start changing the wheels because the rubber starts losing its elasticity. So to change the belts, you can see this belt here. Once you've sharpened a knife, about 50 knife sharpens, it uses the front edge of the belt. Get both wheels, turn them around, you get another 50 knife sharpens out of the back end. So you should be getting about 100 knife sharpens out of a pair of belts. So to change a pair of belts, there's two options. One is to massage them off, and or to just nick the belt and peel it off. But the preferred method for me is to use a can put the wheel on top, even pressure right, right the way around, and it pops straight off. It's funny, but if you don't do even pressure, it doesn't work. If I just pull like this, it won't work, but if I get even pressure all the way around, is there nothing that beer can't do?